Spiders, of all shapes, of all sizes, big, small, venomous, non-venomous have their effects on any regular Joe. This clip from the Harry Potter series, the famous example of the Aragog spider who surround them and the size of these giants, imagine dying at the hands of these spiders. There are a lot of references of giant spiders in the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit universe as well. Let's hope there's no such real life evidence of giant spiders on planet Earth. At the scale of venomous spiders, we have the Sydney funnel web spider, and then we have the brown regular spider of the Lexocera species, then we also have the yellow sack spider, and these spiders are all venomous and yeah, big and heavy. And then the Brazilian wormwing spider, which infects bananas, so if you eat that banana, large banana. Today, let's talk about the black widow spiders. Now, these spiders are really special. Of course, they have a characteristic, unique. The female is quite bigger than the male one, and it is quite dangerous as well, so yeah. This is how the bite mark looks like, two red spots from the fangs, the wound will swell and inflame. This is an actual capture of the black widow spider from National Geographic. As you can see, it has a huge bulbous bottom and the color is pitch black with a red spot. And its toxin consists of the later toxin which actually uh, attacks the nervous system of a victim. So it causes all irregular muscle contractions, spasms, aches, stomach aches and also respiratory illnesses in humans. To imagine if being thrown into a bathtub full of such black widow spiders is quite uh, painful because it's gonna get really hell, hellful. I'm talking about flames of hell. It's gonna be intense inflammation, burning and excruciating pain. Your body's gonna tremble and it's going to look like a red popsicle. That's right, a popsicle. And of course, do not expect any kind of superpowers here, like in the movie Spider-Man. To put matters into perspective, let's say we have an average case human here and an average case black widow spider who injects this much venom. Now, I'm talking about 20-30 of these bad boys who will bite you twice. So you can imagine the level of venom and of course, no superpowers and your heart will eventually die out with all the venom and the symptoms. Death will be a surprise. End of an era. Fun fact from Nat Geo, the venom of black widow is 15 times stronger as rattlesnake. But we cannot compare quality of a quantity here because you see a snake, you get shitless. So yeah, in this case, unfortunately, size matters. Now, coming back to black widow spiders, these spiders, I mean, I know 2030 is a huge number, but a single spider, it's unlikely it will kill you. I know the symptoms are a long list and it is painful, but if you have a proper medical attention, I mean, you're completely back in action. There's no need to worry. The problem is with infants and people with weakened immune systems and old people who actually the body's defense mechanisms are not that strong. Other than that, these spiders are completely harmless. If you keep away from it, I mean, these will do whatever they can to avoid human contact and first contact, and they are not even aggressive at first sight to humans. Sure, they'll do whatever they can. They'll do whatever they can to attack their prey, paralyze them, and consume them. But it's it's just how they are. They always thrive in dark, damp places, and they appear in uh, public places only in search for prey. So, yeah, they kill their mate after they're done bonding and mating. But that's her business. As long as she keeps her to it. You have no problem. We'll steer clear of them. Oh boy. So let's say hypothetically if you do wake up one fine morning, found yourself in a bathtub and you see a mysterious bucket full of medically enhanced black widow spiders coming your way. Highly venomous. First step, just stay calm. You so much as shake or tremble, they will sense you as a threat and they will communicate with its other mates and they will all bite you. Multiple bites. Your body will start shivering like this, like in the scene of Alien Covenant, but of course I promise you, none, nothing will outburst. There will be no outburst from your body. Yeah, it just gets too dirty here. Coming down the circulatory level of human body, your heart will start beating at a really fast rate, thereby causing a significant increase in the level of venom in your bloodstream. This will increase the intensity of the symptoms and thereby cut off oxygen to your essential organs, thereby sending you to paradise. Now coming to various pop culture references of spiders, this movie, The Most Beautiful Island, has utilized a Chilean recluse spider to be set loose on this woman's body. So can you imagine this? A highly venomous spider set loose on your body while you're naked. Now, given the spider keeps its ethics, it stays out of your openings. Still, it is fearful. The fact alone scares me. Now in this movie, The Beyond, 
we can see an army of tarantulas or whatever they are they are highly venomous and aggressive ones marching towards a human body imagine you are suppressed you have fallen onto the floor grounded by these spiders and they will kill you they are aggressive they will tear the flesh in this movie they literally literally tear the flesh of his bones so this alone strikes suppressive fear in your mind and it is it will you alone to kill you just the sight and fear of these guys so this is dangerous if you have a case of arachnophobia supposedly you better pray to god you get a swift death because things are going to get so much difficult and nasty and troublesome for you your mind is going to drive you completely crazy i'm talking about a serious case of mental trauma it's going to be a prison of torture but let's say if you do manage to evade all the attacks of the spider and stay completely calm and in your control but what if the sense you no longer as a threat but as a source of energy and kind of a surface to hold on so they spin all their web around you and you completely drain you of all the nutrients all your energy like in this case kingdom of spiders you can see Meanwhile in real life this Australian kid Tom Buchanan actually went on to host about 125 golden orb spiders on his body for about 30 seconds and yeah golden orb spiders are harmless but still long legs and people who have fear of bugs kind of respect another astonishing feat on spiders by humans is done by this guy who hosted about 200 chilean rose tar- tarantula spiders so this spider often freak people out and This is quite an amazing feat. Returning back to a black widow situation, let's hope someone finds you, saves you and treats you with advanced medical tech or if you try to get out of your way with some efforts, let's hope you have someone who can treat you with the best medicines. So this is quite a fictional scenario, highly unlikely that it will happen in real life, so no need to worry. And spiders don't want to hurt you really, right? They just cute little ugly animals but fine spider so that's all on discussion on black widow spiders today until next time boys and girls see you